Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. This time out, an awesome tool for guitar players who use tube amplifiers. Let's get started. If you're a guitar player using a tube amplifier, then obviously you know how important vacuum tubes are to your tone. The tubes are where the tone is developed, it's where the gain is developed, and where the power is developed in the power amp section of the amplifier. But knowing when those tubes are performing well and when they're starting to get worn out can really be a challenge. Typically power tubes are the ones that wear out first, so many of us replace those once a year if we're playing a lot. Preamp tubes can last longer, but they also wear out and have to be replaced. Now what if you had a tester that you could use at home that would tell you the status of your tubes so you know when the ideal time was to replace those? That's exactly what the Orange VT1000 valve tester is. This is a compact valve tester, plugs into the wall, has a simple readout display here that we'll go through, and it allows you to test just about any kind of vacuum tube that you might use in a guitar amplifier. As I mentioned, the VT1000 is very simple. We've got three sockets here. The one on the far right is the one that you plug your preamp tubes into. It'll accept 12 AT7s, 12 AU7s, and 12 AX7s, or the British equivalents. The center socket accepts EL84 power tubes. The far left socket accepts octal power tubes. So 6L6s, 6V6s, 6550s, 5880s, all of those power tubes would plug in there. On the bottom right, we've got three switches, one that starts the test and two for moving through the different types of tubes. And we have LED indicators here that allow us to see what type of tube we're testing and also gives us a readout of the matching value for the tube. The VT1000 performs a long list of tests on the tubes, and the nice thing about it is you really don't have to know all of those parameters and all those factors that go into the tubes. It does all of that transparently for you using DSP in the background and gives you a simple readout using the panel on the bottom. Now the VT1000 really tells us two things. There are a bunch of tests that go on in the background, but the first thing it tells us is the quality of the tube. Does it fail? Is it in worn condition or is it in good condition? And this tells you when it's time to replace your tubes. The second thing the VT1000 displays is the matching value. In the power amp section of a guitar amplifier, often there are pairs of tubes, and we like to have those match so that they push and pull against each other equally. In a preamp tube, there actually are two completely separate independent sections to that tube, and they perform best when those sections are matched. So the match value display at the bottom of the VT1000 gives us a readout of a value for each tube. That way we can insert two power tubes and look at them if they have the same match value. Obviously those tubes are matched and we could use them together in a pair. It also tells us if the two sections of a preamp tube are matched or how closely they're matched. The more closely matched they are, the better they're going to perform in certain positions in the amplifier. If they get too far apart and they're matching, probably not a good tube to use in most amps. Operating the VT1000 is very simple. Let me show you how it works. You simply take a tube, here I've got an EL34 power tube that I took out of my Marshall amplifier, insert it into the socket, connect the power cable, press the OK button, and it will light up and at this point you use the left and right buttons to choose the type of tube that you have. Now I've already got EL34 selected here so I just hit the OK and it begins testing the tube. The lights will flash across, when the lights stop flashing the uh, VT1000 will read out with a matching value and tell us the condition of the tube. So the VT1000 has gone through its cycle of tests. It takes a minute or two for it to go through all those tests with a power tube, and it's giving me a readout here that says this is a tube in good condition and has a matching value of an 11. Now if I put in the other EL34 for my Marshall, run it through the same battery of tests, it actually comes out with an 11 as well. So I know I've got a matched pair of tubes that I can put into the power section of my amplifier. If at any point the tube fails one of the tests that it's going through with the VT1000, the red fail light will light up and you can take the tube out, you know that it's bad and you shouldn't use it anymore. It may also show up as a worn tube, which means that it will still work in your amplifier, but it's probably getting to be time to replace it. So let's take a look at one more test. This is a 12AX7 from the Marshall. We'll plug this into the, uh, the preamp socket here, attach our power cable, hit OK, and then we'll scroll over to select 12AX7 and hit OK again, and it will run through its cycle of tests. Now in this particular case, the tube failed one of the tests, so the red light comes on, I know I've got a bad tube, I can basically just throw this tube away. Let's try it with another tube. We'll select 12AX7, hit OK. So the VT1000 has completed its battery of tests on this 12AX7. In this case, we have a good tube, and we have two lights here, and that's indicating the two separate sides of that preamp tube, and this shows they're actually quite closely matched. If we had one LED on, they would be perfectly matched, and the farther apart they are, the less well matched they are. In this case, this is a really well matched tube, and it would perform well in certain positions inside the amplifier. If you're using a tube amplifier on stage or in the studio, I highly recommend the VT1000 for your toolbox. This is great for maintaining your tone and getting the best out of your tube amp, and it's far easier to use than a standard tube tester. 
Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll be checking out more guitars, more amps, and more effects. I'm Mitch Gallagher.